Well, it's that time of year again where American parents fork over another 75 grand so activist babysitters can train the nation's spoiled brats to become domestic terrorists. You're watching Woke of the Week with MRC TVN's Culture. I'm your host and recent college campus survivor, Justine Brooke Murray. Back to school, back to school to prove to dad that I'm not a fool. You didn't really think the he, she's for Hamas were going to just let you simply return to campus in peace. Where's the school spirit in that? Those radical hobo encampments needed to be one-upped, and our brave advocates for social progress needed to make sure this year starts out with a bang, maybe literally. So they order their fresh new picnic cloths from free people and overnighted flags of their favorite terrorist organizations just in time to welcome Jewish students with a good old Palestinian pep rally. Watch them force this Jewish girl at Temple University into hiding out of fear for her life. I'm like about to panic attack. Like, I'm a, like, before it was fine, now I'm inside a building. Huh? Trying to rush to class? Not today, Jews! This overgrown hippie has a message for you first. People, because they like to defend other Semites. He only likes Jewish Semites. He likes to kill Palestinian Semites. He probably likes to rape Palestinian Semites as well, because if he doesn't get to rape them, he has to go and shut down the prisons that are rapists. So, yes, this is a genocider who loves to kill babies, who loves to kill because he wants a beachfront property. If you guys want to learn something about what's happening in the Middle East, spend some time researching Ben Gurion Canal because this douchebag wants beachfront property and a canal straight through Gaza. And he's not doing it for anyone but the United States and their $3 billion a year. But what's the point of going to class when you can just bang on the drum all day? Suddenly everyone's shocked our campuses have turned into jihadi boot camps. Oh, you thought higher education was supposed to teach you how to get a job, communicate like adults, do your own laundry, or make yourselves useful to society. Of course that's not what it's about, you uncultured plebs. American universities act as a training ground for the ruling class training out CEOs, businessmen, and professionals to uphold the capitalist standard. It's about using other people's money to learn how to destroy Western civilization, starting with the campus grass, and replace it with Marxism, starting with the only place on the planet where it seems to work, the classroom. I recently graduated my indoctrination camp, and with the help of your taxpayer money, I was taught things only a true intellectual with a PhD in decolonial queer studies could understand. Freshman year, I learned speech equals violence, but also silence is violence, and straight white men are evil. In music history, I learned classical music is racist because it implies Beethoven is superior to twerking and banging on logs, and oh, also, straight white men are evil. In my journalism class, I was taught the media is completely unbiased and you must believe everything the New York Times says or else you're peddling disinformation. And straight white men are evil. In my mandatory globalism class, I was taught we can't say the phrase third world because who are we to assume those countries are third world? But also, it's America's fault they're third world and also straight white men are evil. Sophomore year, I was taught our constitution is exclusionary to international students. And also straight white men are evil. In math, I was taught two plus two equals sexism. In science, I was taught global warming's happening because racism. Then classes were canceled because racism. Junior year, I learned anti-racism means letting students who identify as BIPOC racially segregate their dormitories. And to oppose that, by the way, is, well, racist. And to fight racism, I was taught we must cancel Martin Luther King. And also, straight white men are evil. Senior year, I was taught sex is a construct, biology is bullcrap, and there are more than 30 genders. But we can identify them all under six categories. And also, straight white men are evil. Then I was taught we can't discuss 9-11 because of Islamophobia until we were taught 9-11 was actually resistance to straight white men who are evil. 
and who are too successful, just like Asians, now Jews, and any American benefiting from our free society. Which brings us to the start of colleges this week, where America's enemies are already giving our bright pupils and their professors an A-plus for destroying the free world from within. It's only a matter of time we dig our own graves deep enough to end the same way student revolutions throughout history did. That wraps today's visit inside our woke college classrooms. Make sure you tune into my show every week where I bring you the left's most insane moments and expose their latest attempts to weaken the West. Then hit the like on YouTube, plus on Rumble, follow us on social media, comment below what you think, and don't cave to the leftist media agenda. If you like the work we do here at MRC, please consider donating at mrc.org donate. It's the best way to help our movement.